New at five, another Virginia lawmaker is fighting back tonight as photos from the past might threaten his political future. The images are once again tied to a local school while the top three leaders in the Commonwealth keep quiet on the scandal swirling around them. Late this afternoon, Republic, Republican Senate Majority Leader Thomas Normant confirmed he was the managing editor of the 1968 edition of the Virginia Military Institute yearbook. Some of the pages included racial slurs and photos of students in blackface. There's also a picture of a man holding a Confederate flag. But according to Normant, he condemns the use of blackface, adding that he was one of seven people who worked on the nearly 400 page yearbook. He did issue a statement that says, in part, I cannot endorse or associate myself with every photo, entry, or word on each page. However, I am not in any of the photos referenced on pages 82 or 122, nor did I take any of the photos in question. Now, as we've reported, this comes as all three of Virginia's top Democrats are also facing controversies tonight. Governor Ralph Northam and Attorney General Mark Herring both admitted to dressing in blackface, while Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax has been accused of sexual assault. NBC's Chris Clackham has the latest on this political upheaval. Virginia politics in a state of turmoil with its top three leaders mired in scandal. Democratic Governor Ralph Northam so far resisting calls to resign after admitting he once dressed in blackface. Now the state's attorney general is admitting he too once wore blackface. Mark Herring, in a statement of apology, says in 1980, he and a group of college friends put on what he called wigs and brown makeup to attend a party dressed like rappers we listened to at the time. It just made me sick. Um, from Friday to now, it's just been one bit of bad news after the next, and it's all been shocking. Yeah, right here, if you don't mind. Meanwhile, the woman accusing Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax of sexual assault has come forward. Dr. Vanessa Tyson, a college professor, released a statement saying that a 2004 encounter with Fairfax started as consensual kissing but turned into a sexual assault. Fairfax says their experience was consensual and denies the allegations. In a statement saying in part, I cannot agree with a description of events that I know is not true. But leading Democrats like presidential candidate Senator Kamala Harris called Tyson's account credible. And I think there should be an investigation to get to the bottom of it and determine the facts. The path forward still unclear as Virginia grapples with a barrage of controversy that has rattled the state. Chris Clackham, NBC News.